and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your chair execute order 66. Let's get started. And today, I'm going to be building something a little bit interesting, a little bit out of the ordinary. Um, it's going to be basically a turret that is built upon this very chair that I'm sitting in. It's going to be rotated using two brushless motors with drone propellers on them, and it's going to have an electric airsoft gun that's going to shoot, and weirdest of all, it's going to be controlled by the Google Assistant. So you can say, hey Google, execute order 66. And the chair will start moving around, and it will shoot. Order 66 is a scene from Star Wars where Emperor Palpatine tells the entire clone army to execute Order 66, which means they kill all the Jedi. They were unable to disobey because of an inhibitor chip placed inside their brain during the production. We're going to be mounting this wooden beam on the chair first, and we're going to be using this to house the motors that make this whole thing run. So we're going to bolt some bolts into here. Alright, as you can see, I have securely mounted the 2x4 to my chair with significant damage to the chair. So that's perfect. Now it's time to mount the motors. The two motors that will be mounted to the edge of the 2x4 are going to be controlling its direction and its speed. So there's going to be one motor on this side, one motor on this side, each blowing a different way so we can control which direction the chair rotates. All right, we're going to run this thing up to full power and see what happens. Yes! <laughs> Perfection achieved. All right, so we got the chair somewhat working with the propellers on it. We give it a quick test of the remote control and everything seems like it's working fine. So now I say it's about time to build the power supply. We're going to need a lot of splitters, so I'm going to make a splitter with these XT60 connectors, so that way we can connect everything together properly. But, anyway, that should be good. I just need to make a connector, a splitter, so that way we can have power that goes from here to each of the different motor controllers from the battery. 
Meanwhile, John over here will be writing the code for the particle photon that's going to be controlling this whole execute order 66 rig. So, John, how's the code coming over there? Um, I just started. Um, we have servos. That's nice, right? Right? Look, look at that. Look at that. We, we declared a couple servos. Isn't that nice, guys? That is amazing. Perfect. All right, so I got everything sort of hooked together. I got this really cool servo uh, power splitter that I just made. I've got my ESCs. We're going to connect up this ESC right here. I'm not sure if this is the right way for it to be connected, but either way, it'll work. Then we're going to connect both ESCs up to the splitter and this splitter to a battery. Of course, a healthy dose of electrical tape is always necessary to secure things in place on a kind of haggled together contraption such as this. Right, this is a demonstration of this chair moving correctly in both directions as controlled by my remote controller. Here we go. Okay, other direction. Seems like that works perfectly. Alright, now it's time to add the airsoft gun. This is going to be the main part of the turret that shoots. And to do that, we're going to need to add some wires to the end and a transistor so we can connect the airsoft gun to the particle photon. I'm going to use some of these wires to solder to the bottom of the gun so that way we can power it up. As you can see, the trigger is already zip tied, so all we have to do is give it power and we'll start shooting. Alright. I think it's high time we install the gun. All right, let's see how well this gun shoots. It's currently mounted. Let me just connect up the power. <laughs> it's perfect. John, how's yeah. the code coming? It's coming up perfect. Too perfect. Mm. It's coming out good? Dude, it's coming out great. We can only, how many shots can we get out in half a second? Oh, there's a cat out the window. Shoot, where? That's not my cat. What? So now to wire this thing up, we're going to put the transistor in. The transistor is going to have one side going to the collector. Uh, that's going to be the negative side of the airsoft gun. We're going to have the emitter go to ground. We're going to have this side of the... Airsoft gun go to one of the ports in the battery. We're going to have it connect to the second side. Okay, so we have power coming in to our particle photon that's going to power it from one of the ESCs. Then we're going to have our two signal pins going to pin six and five of the particle photon. And with that, I think everything's connected with our execute order 66 machine. Compiling. Compile? Error could not compile code. No. It won't even give us a reason. Why? Why do this to me? All right, we've got the particle connected to a power bank so that way we can upload the code. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this has a break command, right? You can just put break at the end? No, no, no. Oh. no. We, okay, we almost just killed ourselves oh. now. We would have ended it. Because when oh, we put no. execute order 66, and that's the only command. And so once you execute order 66, there's no going back. Oh, oh, <laughs> just like in Star Wars, right? All right, now we're going to go up and set up a function. We're going to do a new if and then that statement, where it's if then. And that maybe takes a little bit. We're going to do a Google Assistant. Say with a simple phrase. Execute order... 66. Now we want Google to say, Yes, my lord. Just for fun, we're going to create that trigger. If then, then that. What we want to happen is we want a particle source to go off. So we're going to have particle, we're going to call a function, execute order on TT photon, no input, create action. There we go. It's taken us like a few hours to get this working, me and John. But overall, this should be worth it. Because I'm connecting the Order 66 machine. I got it all connected up. Wait, John, is my camera running? Is it recording? Wait, John, how does Palpatine say it? The time has come. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the time has come. Wait. Commander Cody, execute Order 66. The time has come. Hey Google, 
the time has come. Hey Google. Hey Google. Execute order 66. Yes, my lord. Shoot, shoot, watch out, watch out. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh man. The time has come. Execute order 66. Yes, my lord. Shoot, shoot. Oh, shoot! <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> Way up here is Order 66 itself. <laughs> so what happens is when you tell Google execute Order 66, it'll go through the if then the net app and trigger this function to run on the particle photon that's connected to Wi-Fi inside the Order 66 machine. Now what's going to happen is it's going to run that little sub program that John's showing you. Right here. Oop, highlighted right there. Well, after it does that, it's just going to... Spin around randomly, kind of, and shoot the gun for half a second at a time. <laughs> Alright, so we've been having some issues with this. What do you say, John? Uh, issues and understatement. Well, you see, we can't get this machine to stop executing Order 66. Once we start it, there's no stopping it. We try to stop it on the phone by telling Google to stop Order 66 or cancel it. And she says, that's treason then. But then she doesn't stop it and gets stuck in some kind of loop. So we've been trying to program it to stop Order 66 once it's already been started. Which is kind of ironic because that's exactly what the Jedi tried doing and they couldn't. <laughs> Much like the Jedi doomed themselves, so have we. The time has come. Execute. Here's a matching video. Google. The time has come. Execute Order 66. Yes, my lord. Oh, ah, cancel order sixty six. Cancel order 66. <laughs> no. Cancel order 66. So it's treason then. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Don't start back up. Don't start back up. Ooh. Disconnected. Oh. Do it. <laughs> well, <laughs> overall, I think this has been a very successful and fun video. We modified my chair so it could execute order 66. And it works very well. Uh, <laughs> the gun shoots real bullets. Well, airsoft bullets, so plastic BBs. And the two fans work perfectly in causing the chair to accelerate in the circle. The gun shoots. It killed the Jedi after Emperor Palpatine told it to. What do you got to say about this, John? Um, I got hit a lot more than I should have. I got hit a lot more than I should have. And, um... I feel like I was given the shorter straw here as the Jedi, and next time I'm on this channel, I'm gonna be the one holding the gun. <laughs> hey, 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 Emperor Palpatine dies. <laughs> right, you're he, right, you get your comeuppance. He gets pushed down the, into the core of the Death Star. Next thing we build, it's gonna be Luke. <laughs> <laughs> what would the Luke do? That would be a lame robot. Yeah, that would suck. Alright, so uh, we tried to program this machine to stop executing Order 60. That's my phone.